Hello guys and welcome to the final game of Season 2 for the Tasmania Slash Hobart career. We're sitting in last place, but we're, if we get a win more draw here, we could finish in fifth. Um, we've just been a bit let down from the bowling again. It's just been the story of the season. Uh, so you guys were obviously last here for the um, final um, Big Bash episode. We, we won the three games, but we didn't make the playoffs. So we played these games here. We Lost to Victoria um, by six wickets. They posted, uh, We posted 293 off a brilliant innings from Mackenzie Harvey. Got us to that score. Uh, five for um, Wildermuth and uh, three for Bolin. Two for, for um, Clive Rose. George Bailey got it through an over there. That was pretty bizarre when I saw that. But, uh, they posted 313 in uh, response. Uh, 50s to the openers there. And we bowled pretty well. Uh, Rogers, four for 62. Three for, for Meredith. Posted 339. I thought we were a chance with the over 300 um, score. Malenko with another 100 um, for the season. 112. Rogers 58. Horn 72. Three for for Wildermuth, Borland and Rose. And they chased it fairly easy. 320 for four. Coates 78. Madison 100. Exactly. Pereira 66. I was just comfortable. Stanlake bowled okay. Three for 87. Uh, that, that was a game that got away from us. Uh, played New South Wales. They posted a mammoth 601 for 5. Hundreds to Rizzuli, Pukowski, and Sankar. It was a long, long toil, that innings. And they, they scored it exceptionally quickly as well. We just had little answer for that. Uh, 320 all out. We posted Malenko with his third 100 of the season. Matthew Wade, 75. Uh, four for, for Sean Abbott, Conway, and O'Keefe in three fizz. In our second innings, we posted 406, uh, Horn 148, Silk 74, Stokes 51, uh, Pfeiffer for Sean Abbott uh, there. And scrolling back to the innings, we gave them 130 odd to chase. We took a few wickets, uh, Stan Lake 2 for Pycroft, uh, Pycroft um, 2 wickets as well, but ultimately not enough. 400s in this innings, it just shows you how poor our bowling is. Uh, Opener got 100, Ferguson 100, Lehman 100, Carey 100. Uh, Flint, I thought was um, pretty good actually, 3 for 114. Deserved a few more wickets actually. Um, definitely stood out amongst the um, polling attack. Posted 402, Rooney with 100. Uh, Rooney, um, since you guys were last here, has played for Australia and uh, Horn has as well. So congratulations to them both um, for getting um, opportunities there. But yeah, we batted pretty quickly there. Like, the openers are known for their flamboyant style being aggressive. Uh, like I said, they're good contributions throughout. Uh, Meany, 5 for 155. Quite expensive. Um, again, um, 440 for 7. Uh, just, again, batting reasonably well. Spence, 74 or 55. Uh, Wilson, 89. Still can't get his elusive 100. But as soon as he gets 100, Wilson, I think he'll be scoring many more. Horn 50, uh, Stokes uh, 60 down the order. Malenko and Flint put on a crucial little partnership just to take the game a bit out of their reach. 63 without loss after 33, um, 35 overs. Pretty much bad decision. So now we are playing Western Australia in our um, closing game. And we've got a few players away. So Jordan Silk will obviously get the spot at opening. Um, we'll bring in Willis at four. Uh, and... Um, Got Ben Stokes um, won international duty, so we'll bring in Shakib Al Hassan. And we've got a spin option now, so we'll bring in. Um, I think we'll bring in Gay Bell. I just think Meredith and um, Stanlake have been disappointing. Um, they've really battled this season again, yeah. Just as you can see, Billy Stanlake's been okay, 37 wickets at 31.86, but you got to think he played counting cricket as well, and for us, he's just really battled. Um, for any consistency, so we'll just bring him, bring you guys to his career now. So he's four game, four first class games, starting wickets at forty six point four six. It's just um, he's been good in the one day format only. But anyhow, let's get into this game. Uh, we will hopefully bowl a bit better in this game. Definitely something we have to look um, for. I think Flint will be an okay bowler for us. I think he's got the goods to be just a solid 
member of the team. So we'll keep him. Uh, just got to find some other players. Malenko's got the wicket of Ali. And he's got the wicket of Marsh too. Two for 30. Uh, Shakib Al Hassan. Hopefully he can get through a mountain of overs for us. The all-rounder. Darcy Short playing the only way he knows how. Being really aggressive. So is Ashton Turner for that matter. Just need to break the partnership. And Flint has done it. Got Darcy Short for a well-earned hundred. Wish he did that bit more for the Hobart Hurricanes. So we've got that there. Malenko back in the attack. And we'll bring Bell into the attack as well. Malenko... Had a good season with the bat. Uh, he may keep a um, spot in the squad going forward. 296 for 8. Chiki back into the attack. We'll bring Flint back. And he's got the wicket of Berendorf. Uh, the earnings is just about going to be wrapped up. And Flint's got a forfer. So that's one of our better bowling efforts of the season. It's just whether or not we can do it with the bat. So we know how these two play. So we, we like um, the aggressiveness up. Oh, hey, on Silk. I forgot um, <laughs> Rooney is in the um, Australian squad. So, yeah, he's not. Um, Silk's no Rooney, but Spence can play the way he needs to. He's out for 12, unfortunately. Just want to bat good here. We're a, good ch we're a chance if we bat well. In the day one, 35 for one after 13. Suspense. I think Wilson's um, really cemented a spot in the order uh, just with how he's performed. Uh, he had a good 20 over campaign for the Paris Scorchers as well. A lot of confidence going forward. Silk's gone for 23. He brings um, Sean Willis to the um, wicket and we're in a bit of trouble now as we lost the wicket of Wilson. Harvey's gone as well. McDermott in. Gotta, just got to get close to their score. Just some people see up. Ben McDermott getting a few opportunities here. Obviously, um, Wade and Payne are sort of haven't really fired enough this season to be selected. So you've got you've got to give um, McDermott a time to adjust at that role because I think Wade and um, Tim Payne will, um, will uh, drop a wee bit of form over the next coming seasons and it'll be good just to have McDermott have a few games under his belt. So we've got Shakib um, Al-Hassan at the wicket. All his experience. Hopefully he can get some some runs. The Bangladeshi um, batsman. McDermott's just put up his 50. He has... Oh, bit of an edge. She gets away with that though, Shakib. 176 for 5. Malenko's in good form. He's got most he's got all his hundreds. I think two of his hundreds at seven, uh, seven and one at eight, I believe. I have to check recheck that, but it's good to see that he has done a wee bit for that. And got us out of a bit of um sticky situations at times. Getting into his work. He's 66 of 103. McDermott's looking okay. Part time um, spin of uh, Darcy Short. Don't want to get out to that um, McDermott. This please just broke it round. This is a good partnership, this. This is what was really needed just after our um, top order sort of failed. Just got a few guys that have taken it upon them to get some runs. I think Shakib's actually really did a good job. Uh, he's out for 98 of 151 deliveries, but it's just giving us a real shout and tournament follows suit. All the hard work, and now it's this sort of Western Australia feels like they've got their noses in front this game. They know if they can wear down our bowling attack we just really struggle for wickets. 291 for 9 now. Malenko. Can he get a few boundaries? 
out for 296. What could have been um, a bigger total, but Wies McDermott and Noel Hassan have got us back um, sort of even Stevens. Need to get one of these two out early. Bell has got Bancroft. Nice. So just need to get another breakthrough. End of day two, 64 for one, up to 16. There's plenty of time in this game to get a result for either side. Got the wicket of Darcy Shaw. That's a good wicket. Malenko's got the wicket of Felipe for 27. And he's got the wicket of Mar. Uh, Sandu's got the wicket of Marsh. So, so good spells. From the bowlers, Flint gets the wicket of Ashton Turner. This game is certainly winnable for the Tasmanian side here. Flint has had a really good game of the ball. I'm really happy that he's sort of taken a few opportunities. He's going to put Shakib at one end now and just try and get a wicket with him. Sandu uh, will bring Malenko in just for a couple. It's just they're getting away a wee bit on us again. Try to bowl Flint. Probably a bit too much there, but... Uh, Ali has kept their innings together quite well. He's out for 82 now. Linko gets the wicket of Berendorf. 271 run lead. And we've got the final wicket. We're chasing 280 for, word, for the win. Uh, Spence uh, will be one of the key men. Hopefully he can get going here. Oh, he's gone for five. So it's this season was good for season one. So was Wilson's. Both of them unfortunately don't get um, too much in the second innings here, and we're in bother already. Lovely shots. Mm, want to somehow win this game, you know? So then we can say we. Won three games this season. Made some improvement um, from last season, though. We didn't win a game um, in the four-day um, format. Won two this season. Been reasonably outplayed in some of the games when um, teams have scored over 600. Shots. Boundaries. Boundary again to Willis. It's out for 46, though. Brings uh, Mackenzie Harvey to the wicket. He's gone for a duck, um, Mackenzie Harvey. 106 for four. Come on, McDermott. you got to back up that score you got in the last innings. Silk out for 47 and 127 for five. It's an advantage Western Australia. Hassan can't improve on that 98 from his last innings. McDermott and Malenko. Probably the last recognised pair at the wicket. Now McDermott's just forced to really just take control of the game himself. 24 to win. Unfortunately, just going to fall short, I think. Sandu's at the wicket now. 164 for 8. McDermott's had a good game with the bat. Couple of boundaries there. But he's got to really um, hope that San Sandu can hang around. I think uh, Bell can bat a little bit, but not much. But it, it's really on um, at Dermot. Lovely shot. Four runs. Four runs again. Out for 64. And we're all out for 206. So, pretty disappointing run chase, actually. Like, only three men got going. And that brings a wrap to the season where uh, Western Australia actually got into the um, final just with that win. So, congratulations to them. Uh, we finish um, in last place. But, yeah, um, guys, hopefully um, and you enjoyed the season. Improvements um, everywhere, actually. We won the um, one-day competition um, just with aggressive batting, the bowling. <laughs> I don't know how we did with our bowling, just malfunctioning um, big time. Uh, and 
just the uh, Sheffield Shield, we had an improvement there with Tasmania. Hobart, um, pretty disappointed with um, how that went. Um, felt we could have done a bit, bit better, but uh, we'll cover all that in review with all the um, player records and who went good, who went bad. We'll see you guys for the review.